Picked up this game the other day. No clue what it was about. It was put up by Ravensburger. I remember carrying games from them. They were pretty simple games, very basic. Um, back when I worked at Toys R Us, I saw it featured 30 Legends, and that's what piqued my curiosity. Ultimate Warrior is always one of my two favorite wrestlers. That and Sting. I doubt Sting's going to be in here. But let's take a look. Game only ran me about 20 bucks, so even if it's just something fun to do on an afternoon, that's not too bad. World Rumble card game, two to 10 players. 30 to 45 minutes? Hmm, I am intrigued. Uh, 30 legend play cards, 30 signature cards, one legend token, 150 action cards, 90 attack cards, kicks, strikes, moves, boost cards, special cards, and defense cards. Count the number of legend play cards depending on the number of players and gather the signature cards for those legends. Return the remaining legends and signature cards to the box. They will not be used during the game. All right, so there's Royal Rumble. It looks like you're going to keep throwing more characters into the mix here. Uh, all players go at the same time. The game is played in rounds. Each round includes the following steps. Plan, reveal, attack, and end turn. Plan. Starting with the title holder and proceeding clockwise, each player chooses one attack card and places it face down, pointing at the person they are attacking. Oh, this is, you can all gang up, I guess. Uh, players may add one boost card to their attack. These are played face down with the attack card. If a player does not have any attack cards or does not want to attack that turn, they may take a breather and discard any cards they don't want from their hand. Players will be able to draw new cards at the end of the round. Then you reveal. When all players have chosen their cards or taken a breather, all players reveal their attack cards and any boost cards at the same time and states their speed out loud. So speed will be down here. So there we go. Uh, speed five on that chop. Each attack card has a speed indicated in the middle of the card. Higher numbers are faster than lower numbers. Boost cards might also add to speed. It looks like that's going to be uh, attack cards also list damage indicated by the damage symbol here. Some cards may also have an effect described in the lower half of the card. Chop. Um, if this hits, you may immediately play another strike. Hmm. Attack cards come in three types. Strikes, uh, which this is. Uh, kicks and moves. And then boost cards, attack. Player with the fastest speed goes first. Note players will often tie for speed. In this case, players attack starting with the title holder and proceeding to the left. Okay, that's interesting. Here we have an example with a nice diagram. It's a very easy to follow rule book. Looks pretty simple. Um, I'd probably classify this as like a beer and pretzel game. Classification me and my friends use for something that you could just, you know, pull out one day when you're waiting for your main role-playing game session to start. You know, just throw the cards out there and have a little bit of fun. Uh, Jake, Rick, and Steve play their cards. Jake is the title holder. All right, I guess because he's got the title token there, Jake plays a drop kick with a speed of three, boosted with an Irish whip that adds two speed for a total of five. Steve plays a standing kick with a speed of four. Rick plays chop with a speed of five. Jake and Rick both have five speed because Jake is the title holder. He goes first. After resolving his drop kick with the Irish whip, Rick resolves his chop. Finally, Steve resolves his standing kick. Uh, if the legend you're attacking cannot defend themselves or another player does not intervene, see defense cards and special cards, the attack hits and all attack and boost cards played are placed beside the legend placard uh, with the damage aligned. Okay, so you got a little running count damage and the symbols will match up and you just keep a running tally of what goes through.
That's simple enough. You don't need any tokens. It's all built into the game. If the legend takes damage equal to or above his health, he is thrown over the top rope and eliminated. There are cheat tricks, signature cards. It's not an incredibly thick rulebook. We're already halfway through. Uh, defense cards. Uh, players may play defense cards to dodge attacks, block, or counter an attack against them. Let's use a defense card. Play it after you are attacked, but before you sustain any damage for each card for specific instructions. Then you have special cards. Alright. So simple enough. Elimination. A legend is eliminated when they sustain damage equal to their health or they are thrown over the top rope by an effect. When a legend is eliminated, follow these steps. Uh, the player who eliminated the legend takes the WWE Legends token and the Eliminated Legends placard. If the Eliminated Legend still has their signature card, place it back in the game box. If the Eliminated Legend hasn't attacked yet, discard their attack card for this round. Discard all remaining attacks intended for the Eliminated Legend. The player whose legend was eliminated draws a new legend placard and takes the corresponding signature card, so I guess that wrestler will then be coming into the ring for the Royal Rumble. Uh, any effects applies to the new legend do not carry over to the new legends. That's good. You always get a fresh start. Trim's like king of the hill. You can keep teaming up on people. Uh, if there are no more legends to draw, players are still in the game. However, all attacks played by players who do not have a legend placard are cheap tricks and may be stopped by rough cards. Players without a legend placard may still collect placards of legends they eliminate. They may not be attacked by other legends still trying to win the rumble when only one legend remains in the ring they win the royal rumble if more than one legend is eliminated simultaneously for example by using a double lariat no one wins the royal rumble the player with the most eliminations gets bragging rights all right this is kind of neat let's see what we got Ooh, we got shiny here let's pop that out nice chromey token Everyone knows who you are. Okay. The wrestlers like to be on tarot-sized cards, nice and large. We got Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So it looks like it's going to be just the, the classic WWE characters. Hacksaw, Macho Man, Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Ravishing Ric Rude, Mark Henry, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Million Dollar Man, Andre the Giant, Mankind, Booker T, Brett the Hitman Hart, British Bulldog, Eddie Guerrero, Dusty Rhodes, Goldberg, Honky Tonk Man, <laughs> Hulk Hogan, Jake the Snake Roberts, Jerry the King Lawler, Junkyard Dog, Diesel, Kurt Angle, Mr. Perfect, Razor Ramon, Batista, Shawn Michaels, Sting is in it. I am surprised by that since Sting didn't come along in the WWE until, what was that, uh, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, but now he's in the um, AEW, uh, All Elite Wrestling. Really happy about that. I was kind of hoping when I saw, uh, hopefully, there's the Ultimate Warrior. So let's not forget the Iron Sheik, uh, the Ultimate Warrior, and Undertaker. I didn't even think about the Undertaker, but I'm glad he's in there. But, you know, they missed out on a lot. I'm surprised Sergeant Slaughter's not in here. I'm surprised. I don't remember seeing Roddy Rod Piper. There are a lot of wrestlers that are not in here. I figured they would be, but I guess they only had so many slots, so they had to pick. Uh, some classic with some new. You know what? I don't remember seeing The Rock. I'm surprised The Rock's not in here. Then you got plenty of action cards. I'm not going to go through all of these. But this one I will open. Yeah, it looks like it could be a fun game. You know, just something fun to do. 
What do we got here? So, yeah, it looks like you got your signature moves. We got Chuck Slam for The Undertaker. Ultimate Warrior was the, yep, the Slam Press, Iron Sheet. Stings, I'm curious what they went with. Did they go with Stinger Splash? Or did they go with the Submission Move? Stinger Splash. <laughs> yep. Shawn Michaels is the sweet chin music. World's Strongest Slam. Razor's Edge. Perfect Plex. Ankle Lock. Jackknife Power Bomb. Thump Power Slam. Flying Fist Drop. The DDT. Leg Drop. Shake, Rattle, and Roll. The Spear, obviously. It couldn't be anything else for Goldberg. Uh, bionic Elbow. Running Power Slam. Sharp Shooter for the Hitman. Scissor Kick. Frog Splash. What they go with Mankind. The Mandible Claw with Sako up there. Andre the Giant has the big old bear hug. Million Dollar Dream. Stone Cold gets the Stone Cold Stunner. Batista is the Batista Bomb. Ravishing Rick Rude gets the Rude Awakening. Nature Boy gets the Figure Four Leg Lock. Macho Man is the flying elbow drop, and Hacksaw gets the three point stance clothesline. Then it looks like you got a lot of blocks, tick trolls, dodges. This is going to be, oh, ref cards. They're the ref cards. Play when any player uses, uh, looks like a cheap trick card. Cancel that card. All right. So it doesn't look too bad. You got a lot of good action. Shots in here from all of their classic matches. You got signature moves in here. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good pickup. Uh, haven't even had to play it yet, but you know it's got a lot of classic characters in there. I don't know how anyone can be upset by picking this up. Like I say, I grabbed it for about twenty bucks. You might be able to find it cheaper. Looks like a nice, fun little game. I love the packaging with the ring. Uh, Great design, layout, looks really simple. I love how you don't need any extra tokens or dice to keep track of your damage. You just stack those next to your tarot size cards. Definitely worth the purchase. WW Legends Royal Rumble card game featuring 30 of your classic wrestling legends. And again, you can go two to 10. So yeah, feel free to pick this up. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. As always, during this whole COVID situation, you all stay safe, hobby responsibly. Take it easy.